Hi there, Gary. Thank you for speaking with us. We've not got too long, but my goodness, he's coming home. What's your reaction? <laughs> uh, fantastic news. Um, look, a little bit nostalgic, and nostalgia oh. doesn't always work in football. It sometimes, uh, you know, kicks you sometimes when you when you don't expect it. But this is. You know, the idea of him going to Manchester City was torture for Manchester United fans. I think the fact that Manchester United, I said last week, if, if there is a big player available, Manchester United have to be in the market for that player. We know there's a potential that Haaland could be available next summer, that Cavani's probably got a year, and if Cristiano can give a year, two years to Manchester United, they definitely need a centre-forward option, along with Edinson Cavani. I know they've got Mason Greenwood. But if you're looking at the business that Chelsea have done, that City were looking to do, I think Manchester United had to look to compete. I think what they've done here is bolster the squad with a proven goal scorer, a club legend. And what it's going to do is give the club an incredible 12 months. You think about sort of last season, fans not being in the stadium, uh, but Manchester United fans are going to be absolutely rocking for this next six to 12 months because they're going to see one of their own come back and play in the stadium. And he will score goals and he'll give them brilliant moments. Realistically, yeah, what do you think we can expect from it? It'll be a very different Cristiano Ronaldo, but what are you hoping to see? And do you think he will play regularly? Do you think he will be in that starting eleven against Newcastle if he is, is fit? He'll play regularly. He'll play as number nine. Um, he'll play as a centre forward. I'm sure they'll, they'll put the legs in and around him. He will score goals. Um, and Cristiano Ronaldo will be coming to win trophies, win personal accolades. Uh, set the Premier League on fire. It is a different Cristiano Ronaldo. Everyone accepts that. But he is a number nine. He's a centre forward. He's someone who, to be fair, still has those bursts of speed over short, um, over short spaces that will cause problems. He makes great runs inside the box. He, he has anticipation of where the ball's going to drop. So I think in terms of sort of what he gives to Manchester United, it just gives them something that at this moment in time they need. Um, you know, I said the other day, I thought that Manchester United should be in for Harry Kane if he was available. They should be in for Haaland. These types of players, you know, Manchester United to get above Manchester City and Liverpool and Chelsea, they're going to have to do something big. And this could give them a temporary shot in the arm that would potentially get them right up there this year. I was a little bit fearful watching Chelsea last Sunday, knowing that City are going to be strong. Liverpool have got Van Dijk back, that Manchester United could actually improve but finish less in a lesser position in the league. But this news um, gives me more hope that Manchester United could have a great season. And what it does give it, it, every United fan is a great feeling because this is one of the most special players that has ever lived, that's ever played the game of football. Forget Manchester United, forget, you know, this is one of the greats of all time. And we're seeing him in the Premier League. So it makes the Premier League so much more exciting this season. Oh, do you think, Mark, in terms of his playing time this season, we've seen him, as he's got older, taking a bit more rest. Well, how often will we expect to see him playing? I think he'll play all the Premier League games that he's fit for and all the Champions League games that he's fit for. I think he might not play in the Carabao Cup ties, but, you know, Ronaldo and Messi, they, they just don't miss games, do they? they? They carry on and they play and they play. And I think I think Ronaldo would be a great example to, to his teammates. I think... You know, I think when he was at United last time, I was told by teammates at the time that, that Wayne Rooney sacrificed a lot of his game to make sure that Ronaldo could hit the heights that he did. You know, Rooney would do a lot of his running, he'd do a lot of the hard work. Now, obviously, Ronaldo isn't going to put a lot of the work in again, but he got, like Craig said, such a young group of players around him Sancho, Rashford, Greenwood, even Dan James at times, Mar Martial. They will do all the running for, for Ronaldo to make sure that he is at absolute best and he doesn't have to overexert himself, shall we say, to, to kind of drain his resources. So I think that Ronaldo plays in all the games that United need, the big games, the, the Premier League, the Champions League games, and they'll be hoping the more the merrier because the more games he plays, the more chance they've got of winning something. And that, let's be honest, Ronaldo feels like a trophy right now for United because they haven't won anything for four years. So signing Ronaldo is, is, is their biggest win for four years. They want that go better than that and actually win a trophy. And I think this is the year they have to do it. All questions on social still have to be answered. Ronaldo makes it a lot easier to answer those questions, but he has to win a trophy, and Ronaldo makes it much, much more likely that they're going to do that. Picking up off what Mark said there, is there any downside to it? It seems like a silly question, but is there any downside to Ronaldo returning to United? No, I, I don't see it, because generally he's kept himself fit. He's a couple of little niggling things uh, in the last few months, but he's no spring chicken anymore. Uh, look at the stats, the stats are still great. He's not going to run about... Uh, chasing everybody, but that's not his job anymore. He plays more between the penalty area now, right? He thrives on balls into the box. 
Uh, he's others that will do the work right for him. Uh, it's a short-term contract. There is, there is commercial viability to it off the field. There's football viability on the field, even at this age, no doubt about it. So this is a win-win. It's one of the reasons City were want, want to sign him. Because they know getting goals is a commodity. And that's what he's... Well, that's what he should bring. Unless his stats drop off dramatically, he's going to be 20 to 30 goals again. And that's going to put... Manchester United in a pretty good position. The only downside for me has got nothing to do with, with Ronaldo. I, I, as we said right now, I'm, if I'm Edison Cavani, I'm wondering what, is, what does this signing mean for me? I, my number. I, I, exactly. No. Not, not just that, but... It, it means you better get a big coat. Exactly. You know, and, 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 but, but again, that has got absolutely nothing to, to do with, with Cristiano Ronaldo. And, and to Mark's point about Rooney doing the running... Give him one of the best players of our generation and Wayne Rooney doing the running for, for Ronaldo. It's a far cry from, from some, some of the other players that Manchester United have right now. Very talented, yes, and in Rashford, Greenwood, Daniel James, as, as he mentioned. Um, I, I'm, I'm not sure Martial is, is the player you rely on to do any of your running. But, but that's two different level of player. And, and you're asking two, two different asks of them. Can they support Ronaldo in the way that he needs now, in a way that Wayne Rooney can? I'm not so sure. You, you know, the other thing he brings is, and I don't know what the boys think, he ups the ante for me in professionalism. Mm -hmm. And I think that could be the, one of the keys, is that most players are winners, but when you look at his desire, and at that age, that's, you've got to take that into account. You don't play with his numbers for that amount of years unless you have the, and keep yourself in that shape unless you've got the desire. When they look around the dressing room, these players, and they see him, and there's some very good players at Man United, they look at a guy that's going to demand week in, week out mm -hmm. that they are reproducing yeah, the performances point. from the last week and the week before. And one of United's problems has been recently is that they haven't had that consistency. They've had some good performances, then it slipped off. He brings a different dynamic to the professionalism and to the word winner. And some of the other big-time players in this United dressing room are going to have to step up mm -hmm. now, I think, because he sets the benchmark of Cristiano Ronaldo rejoining Manchester United. It's been a crazy, crazy journey, a crazy day, but let me say a crazy week. Because in this video, after giving you the here we go in the last hours about Cristiano joining Manchester United, and so the deal has been also announced by Manchester United uh, hours ago. So um, Cristiano signed with Juventus with the mission of winning the Champions League also with Juventus. This was his priority. He had this dream of winning the Champions League with Juventus, but in particular Juventus had the dream to win the Champions League with Cristiano. So this was the perfect match in the areas of Cristiano and Juventus. What happened? The plan of Juventus with Cristiano Ronaldo was to sign every year, every summer, a top player to build a top team. They had many important players, but they signed Cristiano, they signed Matthijs De Ligt after Cristiano, and the next step was Paul Pogba. Last summer, 2020, uh, they were prepared to do something important for, uh, for Paul Pogba. What happened? That because of COVID crisis and the difficult financial situation for Juventus, they had big problems, as many other European clubs. It's not only about Juventus. But they were not able to pay for Pogba, for these kind of players, and they were having a difficult moment on transfer market. Jorge Mendes opened talks with Manchester City on verbal basis. It was not a signed agreement, a done deal or something like this. Nothing agreed also on verbal basis. It was a talk, verbal talk between Manchester City and Jorge Mendes for Cristiano Ronaldo. The day after the match on Monday, they started to negotiate. And Manchester City were open to find a solution on Cristiano Ronaldo contract, but they never had the full agreement. So this is why Pep Guardiola in the last hour said we are really far from the agreements for Cristiano Ronaldo because they had no full agreement on the contract and on the salary, but they were talking about it. So the salary was not the main issue. But the big issue was about the fee. Juventus wanted the fee for Cristiano Ronaldo and made it clear since day one to Jorge Mendes. And they said, we want Cristiano, we are open to sign Cristiano, but we are not paying any fee. Manchester City were really clear on this point. They were not prepared to pay any fee for Cristiano Ronaldo. 
During the night, Bruno Fernandes was calling and calling uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, sending him messages to ask him about the opportunity of joining Manchester United. Together, Portuguese job did so well from Manchester Bruno, and so this is how Manchester United were working with Orge Mendes, preparing the contract. It will be a two years contract with Cristiano Ronaldo. Uh, as new Manchester United player, preparing the agreement and sending him the official contract in the afternoon. Jorge Mendes immediately accepted, the lawyers of Cristiano immediately accepted. Cristiano was more than happy to join uh, Manchester United. He was on his private jet, uh, leaving from Turin to join Lisbon, to be in Lisbon in these hours together with Jorge Mendes, with his family. He did it, he signed the first part of contracts, everything will be completed after the medical, but everything is in place, everything has been announced. So Cristiano is a new Manchester United player, but he was really buzzing during the afternoon when Juventus accepted the bid, 15 million euro plus 8 million euro adults. He told to his family and to some Manchester United legends, Patrice Evra, and not only that he was going to rejoin Manchester United, he was feeling something special. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer in his press conference said, here we are for Cristiano. If he wants a new challenge, here we are. And they did it. They did it in 24 hours. After Jorge Mendes' approach with Manchester City not sending a bid, after lunchtime Manchester City announced that they were not talking to San Cristiano Ronaldo anymore, Pep Guardiola knew about the situation and so they decided to leave the negotiation and Cristiano was free to join Manchester United again to sign his contract with Manchester United and to be back at Old Trafford. Incredible but true. Cristiano Ronaldo is back at Manchester United. Here we have with Cristiano with the Champions League. His dream is to win the Champions League or the Premier League again with Manchester United. He wants to win again with Manchester United. He wants to feel Old Trafford buzzing for him. Jadon Sancho, Rafael Varane, Cristiano Ronaldo. Incredible summer window for Manchester United. What is your reaction to this? We found out just moments ago, Owen, that Cristiano Ronaldo is going to be back in a Manchester United shirt. Yeah, to be fair, that's where he belongs. I mean, that is, to be fair, he was one of the, the greatest players I've, I've ever seen. His, his talent is off the charts, but his, his work ethic and his dedication is, is even better. So I know he's 36, but Cristiano Ronaldo is, has every chance to be the best player in the Premier League this season. And for Manchester United fans, nothing better could have happened because I, think, I don't think anybody could have envisioned him in the blue shirt across in, in Manchester. So for United, it's a huge coup and it is one for the Premier League as well. We will see Cristiano Ronaldo, one of the greatest players, not just in Premier League history, but of all time, mm. going back to the club where the fans adore him so much. Yeah, more importantly for us, we're spoiled in the Premier League already, aren't we? For, to have a sensational player like Cristiano Ronaldo, albeit at the latter stages of his career, like Owen said, I still think he's got a lot to offer. Um, it's brilliant for the Premier League. It's such a coup for, for, for the organisation. I think it's a great move. Uh, the emotions of them Manchester United fans waking up this morning, seeing him in a blue shirt all over Twitter and wherever you <laughs> want to see it, and the Man, Man City, the emotions must have been, oh, surely this cannot be happening. And then for the turnaround in such quick time, um, I think George Mendes has done a great job there. I think he's flushed out Man City, flushed out Man United, sorry, by touting with Man City, flirting with them. But was he ever going to go there? I mean, Owen knows him better than all of us. I don't think he was ever going to go to Man City. I think he wanted Manchester United to come to the party and it looks like they've done that. Miguel, how's your day been as a journalist? Busy. <laughs> I'm in the last 48 hours. I mean, I mean just as, as Tim's alluding to there, uh, yesterday there was a deal done between Ronaldo's agent and Manchester, or at least the kind of the, the, the basics that they could make it happen. But, uh, you know, as, as Tim's alluded to, a lot of people around United did feel this is an attempt to basically bring them to the table. That's what he wanted most. Uh, and negotiations went badly between Juventus and Manchester City yesterday. And you know, there is the question, if it didn't look like he was going to go to City, would it have meant that um, <laughs> United didn't come in? But that's all moot. He's, he's, he's back at Old Trafford. And it's probably that much sweeter for Manchester United fans, actually, that they came so close to a nightmare to now this dream return. Well, we...